Okay, uh, a little bit of a difference today. You can see me up in the up in the corner there somewhere. Anyway, um, I'm going to try this and see how it works. And it may not work at all, so I may never do it again. <laughs> but for the moment, hey, let's let's uh, let's give it a go. Um, okay, welcome to the weekend video. This is Enda, obviously. And um, let's get into the markets to see what the week has done to us. All right. <laughs> Um, without further ado, I'm just going to dive into uh, this euro dollar again. So we'll go through the FX pairs and and then we'll get into the meaty stuff. Okay, so you know uh, this is the four hour chart here. There's a couple of uh, interesting things happen. I think we've uh, we're cresting a turn here. Um, I changed the to the alternate count was it last night? Um, but I don't think there's much left to the upside on this. I think we could have a small little triangle building here, maybe for one more pop, and then we'll complete a, a, probably wave C of two. Um, <clears throat> I am also uh, cognizant or aware that we could be working on a larger wave two pattern. It's always the case. Um, but anyway, with this uh, particular count, uh, this larger wave two would be a three wave um, where the current rally just is wave, is just wave A of wave two. Um, and by the way, let me know if, in the comments if this is uh, seeing my face is weird because uh, I think it's freaking weird looking at my face. Um, thank God I never never really watch these back so. I avoid that cringe factor. Okay, uh, so wave two is either complete as wave C, uh, or the rally as wave C has just um, topped out, uh, or this is wave A of two. So either way, I think we're looking at a pretty reasonable decline dead ahead. So if we top out in wave two, either today, uh, later on today, or um, on Monday, then we will head lower, probably back down to about 109. So we're talking about, you know, 300 points uh, down uh, to match this previous low. Uh, depending on the pattern, I mean, it, if the if the alternate count is correct, then we'd uh, expect a three wave decline back to around 109 and then a rally again in wave uh, C to complete three waves. But if wave um, two is complete, then we'll head down in wave one of three. So. Um, we should know about this time next week uh, if if this whole pattern is correct, and we should head down in five waves. Um, if this alternate uh, pattern is correct, then we should head down in three waves. So I think next week is a down week for euro dollar um, in both scenarios. Uh, maybe starting today, but most likely starting by Monday evening. Okay, so let's get into the hourly chart here. So we have one, two, possible third wave. Uh, fourth wave correction maybe and now uh, five waves up in wave five you can see here um, that we could have a triangle let's see this kind of range contraction here uh, even this morning we've only uh, we, we've created a kind of a higher low at uh, 111.38 or 39 and we're heading higher again so if we kind of contract into the afternoon today uh, and then we pop we should pop maybe by this evening, by be seven or eight this evening uh, in wave five. Um, that's the theory. Let's see how it works out. So if if wave five here is going to create five waves, we've got one, two, three, triangle fourth, and then one more in wave five. So for next week, let's see if this wave C completes five waves up and we get a turn down into wave one. Alternate scenario says we get a turn down into wave uh, B of a larger wave two. Okay. Follow that, well done. Okay, so let's uh, get into gold. Let's go to the four hour chart. So gold, uh, the triangle became the kind of dominant scenario. The triangle became the dominant scenario this week. Um, yes, it, it doesn't mean that it is actually what has happened, I mean, it, it's still very likely that this three waves down is actually wave four, and we've just worked on a one-two pattern off that that high. But for now, I think the triangle kind of suits uh, fairly well, especially if it's the fourth wave, because that's really exactly where you'd expect a, five, uh, a, a triangle to occur. Um, so now I'm expecting a wave 
we'll get rid of you. Now I'm expecting wave five to come in and I'm looking at somewhere up around this upper trend channel here, uh, above 1600 for wave five over the next, you know, couple of months uh, in towards the end of the year, definitely in towards probably the middle of December anyway. Uh, so this will probably uh, take that a little bit longer to um, to trace out. And um, this is wave three that we're working on here. So uh, one, two, or sorry, one into wave two, three, uh, a long drawn out correction with four and we may have popped out of this triangle now this week uh, if that's the case then next week should push out above that um 1550 level uh, we have a, a couple of um previous highs here that will form resistance in the short term so 1535 and then 1556 um <clears throat> if we see a break of that definitely that 1556 level then that'll confirm wave five up but i think we're close to confirming it now anyway so uh, we've got to see that fourth wave low um hold over uh, the early trade next week and definitely today obviously so here's the hourly chart we've uh possible three ways down into wave e this week and a nice impulsive looking let's call it um rally off that low kind of holding there this more this at this uh, it's afternoon here, uh, the early afternoon uh, in the London session. So it's it's reasonable to say that this is some sort of fourth wave within wave one, maybe. Uh, you could also call that uh, wave one at one degree higher. It's, it's just hard to know at this moment in time. Yeah, get rid of you. So uh, that'll be an alternate, let's say, insert shapes. Call that alternate wave one. So if that's the case, we'll probably get a one, two, one, two pattern to the upside as you build into wave three. But uh, for now, we've got to see 1482 uh, hold at the lows and then uh, five waves up in wave one. If we get a five, three pattern by early next week and a break out above this wave B, uh, well, even if we get a, yeah, a push above 1535, we'll pretty much nail it, I think, um, for the bullish pattern. Uh, but from now, let's let's see if this uh, bullish impulse wave builds over the next few days, and you should be able to see a pretty uh, a pretty pretty workable uh, bullish higher low at around fifteen ten, uh, if you were willing to trade up that uh, that run up into wave five. If you're not in it already, that is. Okay, uh, and that does it. I think. Um, let me know if I should get rid of this face <laughs> in the next video um but if you like it hey that's even better we'll see you later on tonight obviously for the subscribers and uh i'll see you um monday evening again have a great weekend god bless guys be good you know uh, there's a lot of fireworks going on this weekend you know keep your hands safe don't blow your fingers off have a good one Bye bye